I bought a case. It's called the Finti. And so far, I like what I see about the Finti, except for one thing. This was their packaging. And very flimsy. I was really worried that what I was going to find inside was a bunch of pieces. But uh, actually, it came out all right. Here's the Flinty case. And I ordered a keyboard with it as well. We'll get to the keyboard later. So here is our Flinty case. All right, all right. So you say it's ugly. Beauty is in the, high, in the eye of the beholder. So we're unboxing the Flinty as well. Taking out the foam. Now what I want to do is get our tablet. So this is the bottom, going to the bottom, the top up at the top. It should snap into place. And that it did. So now it is snapped into place. And this should make it easier for us to set up our new tablet. So to complete the unboxing of the Flinty, this is the keyboard for the Flinty. So I'm going to open it up. So we can see this is the unboxing of our Flinty keyboard. It also comes with what no man reads. My wife reads all these things, and actually I do read them. I just don't always read them before I turn on the machine. But uh, it does come with a fairly complete instruction manual, which is, which is nice, better than the Samsung. And it has, in fact, it has magnets in, uh, in here, magnets in the back part of this, and the magnets actually stick to the flinty case, which is kind of handy. Or actually, I think the magnets are actually in the, in the case, so that when you close the case, it actually turns off automatically the, uh, the tablet. Once you have it out of the box, don't throw the box away, because inside there's another one. And this is your USB cable. Now you can throw it away. So this is just for charging your uh, keyboard. Now to pair the keyboard, this is where we are now. So we have the keyboard. Let's turn the keyboard on so we can see the power light that uh, comes on there. And now we're going to put the pairing button or the connect button. That turns on the connect button. And I'm going to say I want to pair it. So it's showing up here and it says, do you want to pair it up? And I'll say yes. And we're in business. Okay, so now that we have the Finti keyboard unpacked and paired up to the computer, there's one thing we have to do if we want to use this keyboard with accents, such as for French or Spanish. So what we're going to do is put it in place here. It's got really strong magnets on it, <laughs> as you can see. So make sure you get it in place for a shot, otherwise you have to play around with it. Okay, we're going to turn it on. So you see the little power light flashes on and then it turns off after a few seconds. And we're going to go into parameters we're going to go into connections and Bluetooth and make sure that our keyboard is connected. Okay, so our keyboard is connected. Now, what we're going to do is go to languages. So that's further down. Here on mine is Suggestion Global or global settings and it has language date and so on so we're going to go to language and what we need to do 
is where it says physical keyboard. We tap on that and we want to make sure that the keyboard is set to uh, French Canadian style. So up at the top here where it says English US, we can tap on that and then we can choose what variable we want within that here. So I have it set to French Canadian. Why? Because French Canadian uses the QWERTY and I'll show you how to find your accents using that French Canadian QWERTY keyboard. So we can see it here. The, the Finti Bluetooth keyboard says up at the top here. Finti Bluetooth keyboard and that's how we have it set up. Now to change from one language to another you can use the control space bar. You see where it says English or French. So now I'm setting it to French. It still is set up as a QWERTY keyboard. But let's see what happens when we go into a notepad and we want to use some accents. It's not exactly the same as a Canadian, uh, French Canadian keyboard, but there you are. Now I write in four languages and therefore I need different diacritics or accents as well as special characters when taking notes. On my home computer, I know where they are. And those that are not readily available on my keyboard, I know the Alt plus number pad code to conjure them up. But on the Finti, as with most Android keyboards, there is no number pad to enter the Alt keys. So where do we find the characters that we need? Here is your guide. This is the basic layout of the keys that we will be needing. Let's start with the accent grav or left accent. Hit once the tilde key, that is this key here. Hit once followed by the letter to receive the accent. Usually this will be a vowel such as A, E, I, O, U or Y. If you hit it more than once or follow it with a letter that does not accept an accent, it will place the accent without a letter. Now let's try for the acute accent or right-leaning accent. For this you will need to hit simultaneously the right alt and apostrophe, that is these two keys. As with the accent grave, you follow this with the letter you want accented. If you hit it more than once or follow it with a letter that does not accept an accent, it will place the accent without a letter. For the trema, you will need to hit the right alt shift and apostrophe, these three keys. So you can start with the right alt and shift and then hit the apostrophe, release them and then follow by the letter to be accented. The same rules apply as above uh, concerning hitting twice or following with non-accented letters. One alternate for this is the letter U. If you hit the right alt followed by the letter Y, it gives you the U trema. You will find the tilde by using the shift and tilde together, that is, these two keys, followed by the accented letter. All vowels can accept the tilde as well as the consonant N. Same rules apply as above. An alternate for the tilde N is to use the right alt key with the letter N, that is, these two. The circumflex is, well, where it should be, over the six, that is, shift and six, or these two keys followed by the letter. Again, the same rules apply. For the C cedula, use the right halt together with the comma, that is, these two. You will find the French quotes by hitting together the right halt and the square bracket, right halt plus the left square bracket, these two, for the left quote, and the right halt plus the right square bracket for the right quote. For special characters, there are several available to you. The inverted question mark can be found by hitting together the right alt and the question mark, or these two. The inverted exclamation mark is produced by hitting the right alt together with the number 1. Exponential numbers 1, 2, and 3 can be conjured up by using the shift plus right alt and the number, that is 1, 2, or 3. Beyond that, they are not available. Pound sterling is shift alt and four, that is, these three keys. The euro is right alt plus five, or these two. 
The quarter can be found under right alt and six, as seen here. Now in all these cases of special characters, the keys have to be all hit or held down at once. Let's go to the half, which is produced by the right alt plus seven, or these two, and three quarters is typed when you hit right alt and eight together, like so. The symbol for the yen is produced by the right alt and the hyphen, as we see here. For the mathematical multiplication sign, right alt together with the equals sign, these two. For division, use right alt plus shift with the equals key, or these three. A few more handy ones are the German double S, using the right alt plus the letter S, as we see here. The AE ligature, which is produced using the alt plus Z, or these two. The registered trademark sign, which is the right alt plus the letter R, or thus the and finally, the copyright sign, which is the right alt and the letter C, or these two. There are other gems hidden in this keyboard layout, such as uh, nano, null, paragraph, and others. But I think this covers the most used characters by the most of us. Please leave a comment below to share your useful Android keyboard tricks with others, especially if you can find the OE ligature. I couldn't locate that one. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. Hi. If you enjoyed what you uh, saw in that video, then please click the subscribe button um, over here. Yeah, that one. Click the subscribe button, please. And whenever I put a video up, you will find out about it. Please.